I want to talk real quick of how important it is to put uh, scuffer holes and drain plugs in your pond prowler type boats. So right here you can see this is a scuffer plug that I installed in this boat, or a scuffer hole I should say. Here's the plug for it right here, it just plugs in like that, folds over, plugs it up real good. So if any water gets inside this boat, I can drain it out that way. And then the other thing I did on each pontoon is I installed these little kayak drain plugs right here for draining any water out of the pontoons. And you would think, well, how would you ever get any water into this boat? And what happened to me, uh, for as far as getting water in the boat, was I was sitting about right there. I had a tiller extension handle on my motor, and I was thinking I was gonna be good with my center of, my, of weight. And everything was doing fine, and then all of a sudden, I throttled the motor all the way down. The back end heaved up from just the wake of the motor. I threw the front end down because I had the extra weight of this little trolling motor, not little, this 35 pound trolling motor up front here, plus my weight, it actually pushed this front down into the water so deep, the water actually came rushing in through here, okay? About two gallons. I moved my chair back, everything was fine. I wasn't about ready to capsize, but it was, you know, now I had two gallons of water in my boat or whatever. So what I did, of course, because I put one of these in, so I just pulled this plug up, drained the water out, done, uh, move forward. So that was one situation. Another situation I had today was I was taking this out of my pickup truck and I noticed that when I uh, lowered the back end out and still had the front end up in the tailgate, I realized that I, I could hear uh, water inside the pontoons. So I opened up my kayak plugs, one on each pontoon, I opened them up, drained out probably about a gallon of water total or something like that. So I was thinking, well, how in the heck did I possibly get water in this and I also thought to myself, what would happen if I didn't have those um, kayak plugs in there? Well, the only other way to drain this boat is this plug that's right here, okay? So that means that I have to take everything off this boat, tip it up, and hope I can get and flip it around and get all the water to come out of here, okay? And, and then try to get both sides out. So that would have been a real mess. Um, the kayak plugs made it a lot easier because what I do is just unscrew them. I already had the boat um, angled up, came right out. The problem was I took that this front plate off that they had in here and I just forgot to put those screws back in there. So when I launched this boat, I launched it into the water uh, kind of forcefully off my little cart and the water comes up to about here for a split second. It probably sprays some water into there. So I've done a few launches already and it probably just built up and I happen to notice that it wasn't very much. It's not a big deal. So those are just a couple of situations where I got water in my boat, um, not thinking I'd ever get water in this boat. So the only thing I can really suggest to everyone is, when you get one of these boats, because they won't come with it, at least most of the ones that I know don't, put in a scuffer hole, get a plug for it, of course, and put in some kayak plugs or some sort of plugs in your pontoons just to save yourself that aggravation. I know drilling holes in boats is a big kind of like antsy thing. Nobody wants to do it. I understand. I didn't really want to do it either. Um, but I got used to it. I actually have modified a few boats now, so I'm more, from, you know, I'm more used to putting holes in them and realizing, okay, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so just, you know, watch the videos on YouTube, figure out how to install these things, that they're really easy, and uh, keep yourself afloat. Okay, that's it.